Welcome back. The story of a steak. You know, it takes a lot of commitment by all people involved in beef production to raise high quality beef. During the last three weeks, we've shared the story of the partnership between V Ranch and Knight Feed Yard to improve calf health and performance. This week, in this informational segment from our friends at Merck Animal Health and High Plains Journal, we visit with John Butler of Beef Marketing Group, who works with producers to add value and improve and document production practices. When you think about it, it's really pretty simple raising value-added quality beef for consumers. For the V Ranch and Knight Feed Yard, which have worked together to improve quality for more than a decade, it starts with proven genetics, good management, and a commitment to herd health. But all of these things don't mean much unless information flows with the cattle as they move through the system. John Butler, who works with ranchers and feeders across the country, is CEO of Beef Marketing Group. He sees vast opportunities for producers to add value by becoming more transparent. As a feeder, we can take good genetics and really mess them up. Or we could take good genetics and, and optimize that value. And that's what we try to do with this connection that's established between a relationship like Mr. Wilson has with Mr. Knight, that we can actually understand those genetics, understand those management practices, and then capitalize on them when we're finishing the animals here at the feed yard. And knowing uh, where the cattle come from and having history, that's very important. These cattle, this relationship that we're talking about is not a brand new relationship. It is long standing. So there's been communication that's been going back and forth with these two parties, the, the feeding entity and the ranching entity. So the product that we're receiving here is very predictable. And having a predictable product minimizes risk. When we have to just go out into the commodity marketplace and based on no information, buy buy animals to put in our feeding operations, there's huge risk associated with that. And we can't afford that any longer. So that's where the source becomes so, so important. The second part of your question about the vaccination records are really important when you look at the entire supply chain because we don't want to overuse these technologies that have been made available to our industry. So if there's a vaccination protocol that's been utilized at the ranch level before we receive the animals at the feeding and growing level, then we don't wanna, we don't wanna duplicate that effort. And having that record and that information, we're able to provide that to our licensed veterinarians, which will look at that information and evaluate the cattle, and it helps us better tweak what needs to be done, if anything, next. Butler also believes health history is part of an overall story that stands behind the cattle. And telling this story is becoming more critical, not only in the eyes of consumers, but it's an often overlooked management practice that strengthens reputations within the industry. Well, what we are really trying to do is to get closer to the consumer and get, get you know, that we are really not in a silo of, of being a one segment within this entire value chain that we've got responsibility on both sides of it. We've got responsibility on the side that works with the cow-calf producer, and that responsibility means better communication, better understanding about the product that's coming to us, uh, paying more attention to that product so that we can, can really deliver on, uh, on being more efficient and, and because our margins are gonna get tighter, and so we don't have the flexibility that we maybe normally have in a, in a heavy supply situation. The other side of the responsibility is what happens to our product when it leaves our operation. It goes to a processing plant and it's disassembled and it's put into boxes and it goes into a retail meat case and or food service or some sort of distribution. We need to understand what that is and what's happening. And, and as we understand that, we can do a better job producing against what those end users are asking for. So it's a, for me, it's a function of breaking down these barriers and becoming more transparent and really looking at this as a value chain and not just a feed yard, that we've got responsibilities on both sides of our operation. Next week, we'll continue to share the story of a steak as we see how the V Ranch calves are performing at Night Feed Yard in Lyons, Kansas. For the Angus Report, I'm Doug Medlock. This segment of the Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health and High Plains Journal. To watch this segment again, or to read more about the V Ranch and its herd health practices, visit storyofastake.com. Thanks for watching. At Merck Animal Health, 
we are dedicated to improving the health and well-being of animals through innovative science-based solutions, products, treatments, and services to ensure a dependable, affordable food supply. From cattleman to consumer, from farm to family, we're with you every step of the way. We work where you work. What drives you drives us. It's your livelihood and our responsibility.